Who do you back? DeSantis. We'll start with the shortcomings of Trump. He's 76 years old. He has no ability to control his mouth or his typing fingers. He has no sort of actual plan to win. I mean, he, he literally complained in 2020 that he was robbed of the election through voter fraud, but no one will ask him a simple question. How do you plan to unrob the election in 2024? He's wildly unpopular with women. He has an approval rating, last I checked, in the 20s. And by the available data, he will probably underperform how he performed in 2020. Saying to millions of people, yeah, you voted for me in 2016. Then you voted against me in 2020, and now I want you to switch back and vote for me. That's not even switching minds once. That's switching minds twice. That's super difficult. DeSantis is extremely meticulous about how he approaches politics. When he focuses on an issue, he really focuses. He is good at actually governing. The dirty little secret about Florida is a really well-governed state, right? We have all the culture war stuff that makes the national media, but the stuff that doesn't make the national media is that when there's a hurricane, we're rebuilding bridges within like a day, right? That the problems actually get solved here. That DeSantis brought down crime rates dramatically, that he offered police officers a $10,000 stipend to move into the state. 